Come on. Alright, what's up everybody? We're gonna... Uh, roughly a week ago on YouTube, or on Facebook, I posted a question on our Disney Waterworks fan page as far as what people would like to see. Uh, one of our longtime followers, Tracy Lee Furman, has said that he'd like to see me make one of my skull types. Uh, so we're going to do that. We're going to do it in sections. Because it is a process, obviously, so we'll break it up into several different videos. But today we'll work on the skull. This is a flat tubing, jet flat. I'm trying to keep you guys in the loop along the way so you know what I'm doing. So it makes a little bit more sense, you know. Hopefully it allows everybody to see you know, just how much time does go into these pieces that you guys see people post. Um, it is quite a process. The reason I'm letting that kind of settle is to give it more of the, the head, you know, where it goes down to the jaw. It makes it so I don't have to do a lot less forming with tools. I'm just sticking it up, gathering it down. Forgive me if I miss a step and have to go back. It's been a minute since I've made one. I think the last one I made was for Mike Smith. Love you, Mike. I need this just to kind of help get my marks to the front and back. Gives me a point of reference, I guess is the best way to put it. I'm going to heat up just off to the side of that. Because we did thicken it a lot, and I've got to be able to push that in to the eye, so it's easier if I. Work it a little bit. And now that I got bubbled out a little bit, let's push that in. any other blowers out there, you know, feel free to use this technique, guys. Wish you the best. <coughs> all these ideas, all the tools, all this shit, you know, I just, I winged it. I, I've never had anybody show me how to do this. I'm completely self-taught in this shit, so. A lot of the techniques you guys might see me do are a lot different than techniques you see in other places. And that's the reason for that is you know, I am completely so fat. 
just had to learn on my own, but that was half the fucking fun of it for me, so. Still is. That's what excites me. Having to figure out new ways and tricks. So what I'm doing is pushing up where I'm going to be indenting for the nose. And work it up into the brow area. I'm going to make myself a mark with this little tool here. It's just a point of reference. And I take the back side of this little exacto knife and heat it up. Put it in that mark. Slide it. Then it to the other side. I'm kind of push in where I was blown out. I'm just dimpling that back in. So I've made my little V for the nose. I'll heat it up at the top of the fridge. Like that. Grab it with this. And kind of pull it up. And use that scallop look right there. And once you've done that, Come back over here. You can see the eyes are drilled out. Come back over to the back of it. push the bowl, I'll still have a nice ridge line up front, and it won't take away the whole head of the skull. That's what we're going to do for today's clip. Tomorrow, I will uh, do another video, and we'll put the horns on it, and one of the teeth, and we'll uh, show you how we work it from this point to the next, on the next video. Hope everybody enjoyed it. And I uh, look forward to seeing you guys back tomorrow for the next video. Thanks a lot. Much love.